Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Aquasmonder. My name is Nicole Marion and this is the unboxing and setup of the Iridium G5 XR15 Pro from Ecotech Marine which is more like the, the red version or the full spectrum between the two light they, they have. The other version is the blue one. So I'm going to do the unboxing so uh, just to give you an idea of what to expect what's inside and how to set up the light. So I'm going to keep that simple. I'm going to create more and more video in the months and weeks coming. So make sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna be sure like I'm super honest on everything. I'm uh, very transparent with everything, like every of my video. You probably should know by now. Uh, so uh, let's get to it. Let's unbox. So here it is, the Equitech Marine G5 Radian XR15 Pro. So this is more like the white version. Uh, so in front of the box, uh, on the top, you have the picture of the light with the name. On the side, you have blue. And I know you're supposed to have the Equitech Marine uh, printed logo over here, but it's missing for some reason. On the other side, you have some of the features. Uh, so this light is uh, controlled via application called Mobius. It's compatible with the ecosystem of uh, Google and uh, Apple, so they made the two version. Uh, you have after the HEI Optic, which is that part over here, which I will come later on the video. Um, after this is full spectrum, meaning it's just, like reef compatible. Lunar light, so you have two lunar light, one is cold and one is uh, warmer. Uh, you have a quarter pressure, so this light should be a quarter, I think, compared to the G4. Uh, multi light operation, so you can just put uh, as, light, as many light that you want. Uh, and on the other side, you have the Radiant XR15 Pro with a picture. Here, you have the same thing, but you can see there's the the, the real name of the version XR15 G5 Pro US. So I, so I have the US version. So on the back of the box, uh, it said that in the box it contained the Radiant light fixture, the power supply, a quick start guide that nobody really read that because they watch the video, YouTube. Uh, microfiber flat uh, to clean your fingerprints from the light. Uh, eye light mount, which is the little knob just over here. Uh, for the feature, so you have the advanced HEI, uh, HEI optic, which is the part over here. Uh, so it, it, it's supposed to like to spread the light more evenly into the gram, and I've been fighting for years about that. So happy that they finally uh, do those uh, change. Uh, full spectrum UVs and lunar night, uh, quite active cooling technology, so it's supposed to be quieter, uh, so I will test that in a future video. Uh, it comes when you, you plug uh, the, the light with the, the application, it comes with a pre, uh, preset, uh, so you just select, uh, you just select the, the preset and you're good to go. For the power consumption, so you have uh, 90 watts, and you can see here the, the width and the height in the imperial and uh, metric uh, measure. So thank you to put the, the both of them because I live in Canada. Uh, for the LED specification, so you have 12 cool white, 16 royal blue, eight blue, two photo red, three green, four uh, UVs, two violet, three warm white, and two lunar light. Which one is cold, one is uh, warmer. And here you can see uh, the serial number and the manufacturer date, February 19, 2020. So I received the light like just two weeks after it was made, so it's pretty cool. Um, so that's pretty much it for the box. So it's time to uh, open this seal.
All right, so here is the light, 18 centimeter by 18 by 3.5 centimeter, or 7 inch by 7 by 1.4 inches. Uh, a slim factor from the, the side point of view. It's extremely similar to the G4 XR15, and on the top you have the, like that plastic shiny look where you're going to see like my camera very often. Uh, I'm not like a huge fan of that glossy finish because it's a finger trap and it might also like create some light reflection in, with your ambient uh, room light uh, and on the bottom part uh, you have that like matte finish which i like very much uh, i wish the, the they made the whole light like with that finish they redesigned the fan and the heat sink so hopefully it will be less uh, noisy and uh, the the heat will dissipate much easier um, i'm a little bit concerned with the the blade of the fan they, they look like very uh, close to next to, to each other and I think the, the dust will eventually block the hair flow uh, very easily. We'll see in the future. But for the maintenance, you can see they use the torque screw, which I love because I've seen other lights like my castle uh, that have like different type of screw and it's a bit annoying to uh, when it comes to, to clean the light. So they still use the same tree button, no change there. A little bit hard to, to press activate, but it's not a big deal, honestly. Uh, and on the bottom, you can see their, the LED with their new frosty uptick. I really love how the bottom looks slick and simple. It makes the whole light a little bit more um, water splash-ish resistant. I count 50 LED. Uh, I like the fact that they add there, like two different moonlight color. So if you want like a little bit more warmer uh, or colder uh, look, it's, it's up to use like your personal or preference. All right, so I'm going to turn on the light so we can have our first look. The light, the Region G5 on the on the Aquatic Life Hybrid picture. I really love uh, that thing. It's super useful. So, as you can see, the light fit very well into the fixture. And all you have to do is uh, use those uh, bracket, just like so. It's, it's still like the same original bracket that they used to have. And I'm just gonna use the those uh, screw like this that come with the, the, the G5. So I know that I should put the, the screw like a, like those little thing uh, on this, but honestly, it's just like for demonstration. So I'm just, just like that, it's like, it's more than fine for me. So uh, let's go to my tank. So now that the light is on, I'm gonna make sure it's a hundred percent. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so I think this is the hundred percent. So I'm going to lower the intensity of the light. And I'm not quite sure, but I think it goes by uh, incremental of five percent. And I think you can hear the click. All right. So you can hear the little uh, sound notification. So this is the lowest peak uh, of intensity. So now I'm just going to go back with 100% so you can see the difference. All right, so now that... All right, so now I just hear that my AeroDI water is um, overflowing. So I need to just uh, check out. And just before, uh, this is what you can do uh, without uh, having the Mobius uh, application to control the light. So right now we are going to use the, the Mobius application so you can just control everything. All 
All right, so now that the light is connected, we're going to, uh, on Google Play, I'm gonna type Mobius, and I'm on Android, so with the Galaxy X10. Um, and then you're gonna select the first one, click install, and you're going to see that I'm going to speed up uh, this uh, clip of this part of the video because uh, unfortunately, I had some trouble with uh, this application at the first time. Um, actually, it's because I, I've used the, the blue version at first, and I think it's why I had some uh, trouble with the, the poor version. But usually, uh, you connect the light and you're gonna, it's gonna ask you to, um, to update uh, the, the firmware of the light. So you can see it's complete. And I'm just going to speed up again. All right, okay. Connecting to device, retry. Yeah, there is some little issue. All right, so now I'm going to click on uh, Disco so you can see, uh, oh boy, okay. Uh, this is not speed up, this is the real time. So I'm gonna just stop there. All right, color cycle. So now you can see all the, um, the channel LED and it goes, it, Pretty cool effect, uh, I love that. So now I'm going to live demo and I'm gonna control each individual channel. So this is the cool white, this is the blue, this is the royal blue, and the green, the red, the UVs, the warm white, the violet, and finally the moonlight. The yellow one and the moonlight blue and on the bottom it does nothing uh, it's just to show up uh, the, the light all right so i'm gonna press down and i'm going to switch to the acram to show you the different template uh, that you have and preset all right so i'm going to click on mobius um and then i'm going to click on disco to see and oh boy yep uh, I'm pretty sure my fish love that, so I'm gonna just stop that. Color cycle, like I showed previously, uh, but with uh, this time with the aquarium. It's kind of cool to see all the, the coral that pop differently depending on their fluorescent. Purple, I think, is my favorite color. Uh, I'm gonna stop. I'm going to a live color. I'm gonna use the cool white, so it's a little bit yellow-ish. Uh, I'm gonna blue. I'm gonna use the royal blue. The green. The red. The UV. The warm white. The violet. My favorite one, I think. The moonlight. The warm moonlight. And the colder moonlight blue. Okay, now I'm going to click stop and I'm going to click on light, the middle button. And here you can set the, the schedule that uh, you want. So I'm gonna just put the set time 11 to 21 o'clock. I'm gonna press save, I'm gonna press exit and I'm gonna press the left part. And here you can uh, customize each uh, channel light intensity. Okay, pressing red arrow. So here I can play with the, the intensity of each uh, channel color. And I'm gonna press the save, done, and go back, and go back again. Now if I want to use a template, I press template. I'm gonna put some random um, hours for this uh, video. And then you click on set. And here you can select uh, the template. I'm gonna select AB+. And this is what uh, the AB plus uh, look like. So at this point, you're pretty much done. So if you want to use a uh, other template, I'm going to press a uh, template. I'm going to click on set. After that, PHX14. So now I'm gonna put some random hours and click save. So this is what the PHX14 look like. Now I'm going to press template to choose another one. I'm going to put some random hours. Uh, now select LPS as soft and press uh, save. And this is what the LPS uh, look like. All right, so now I'm going to select another one. Press template, choose my hours. 
Sunrise, sunset. There we go. Press set. Gonna choose radiant color and just some small adjustment. Press save. And this is what it looked like. It popped a little bit more the, the color. So at this point, you're pretty much uh, done. So this is how easy it is to set up your Radeon G5. Now, one last thing, uh, if you have trouble with the, the hours, just go to the, the setting and choose the units. And then on date and time, you can choose the time zone. So I just set up my time zone and I had initially uh, some trouble with that uh, at the beginning. So just make sure to not forget to set up this. And it's that easy. Uh, this is why I love the Mobius app. Uh, everything uh, is easy and simple and quick. So good job uh, from Ecotech Marine to develop that app. I really loved it. I said earlier that I didn't want to go in there because this is just like unboxing and set up the, the XR15 Pro. But I wanted to show you like the display effect that you have. So this is the all the LED at 100% intensity. So this is what it looks like and it's really present. Uh, so I'm gonna buy eventually the diffuser because this for me is like it's too much And if you appreciate this kind of video, please give me uh, a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this kind of stuff I have way more videos that are going to go uh, more in depth and uh, I hope you appreciate the work that goes behind It's super hard for the people to watch my video because I'm not like a big channel and I'm not a store or whatever and not sponsor etc So this uh, if you can just give me a like I will really appreciate it. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye